Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Leagues 4 Content. I've been mildly busy. And by that, I mean I did quests. I did the Goblin Diplomacy, Lost Tribe, and then Death to Dorgashin. We equipped the Bone Crossbow. That's another thing. It's crap on the ground. And uh, yeah, we're on our way. To hit the next relic really looking forward to it and we have a couple tasks in uh i think it's dorgish con um which will ultimately get us closer to my goal this whole time i've been i've just been trying to get to fight this is a one small favor of killing the mole efficiently because i need to get a uh, the, this lantern, pickpocket, the bullseye lantern. I need to eat a Dorgishan delicacy, I think it was. Nope, that's not the delicacy. Uh, but I need to get the bullseye lantern so I can light it at some place. Uh, in, I need the oil lantern, I think it's in Port Sarim. But I need to light the lantern... And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's where we're at. I'm going to do a couple quests and a couple tasks in here. All right. I ate a Dorgishin delicacy. I got eel, uh, how you do it because I've been looking this up, use food on a gourmet and you have to go talk to people. Uh, one, I don't care. Oh, come on. All right. Uh, I really don't want to sell these. Not not that I don't want to sell them. I just don't want to deal with it. But so you sell it, and then there's a chance they can give you eel food, and I got the eel food. Um or well a Dorgish and delicacy. Doesn't have to be eel food, I just I got eel food. Eel sushi. And now I am picking locks. Because I need to get the diamond, and then I think I'm done with this place uh, in its entirety. So we'll just have to keep going around. And that is steal a diamond from the Dorgish Khan chest. It only took me 50 chests. Now, some, some of those chests were empty, and some of them were misclicks. But holy crap. Uh, it's done. All right. So I got my levels up a little bit, which wound up getting me base 50, 60, maybe 40. I don't remember what level I had it at. And uh, I also did the other things for it. So I've gotten, you know, a fair amount of points, but we're going to do the last thing for the diary, which gives me the diary completed uh, the Falador hard. Also, uh, while I was making, I think I made like 2000 nature runes. Cause I was one off from nature. Now we can do death. Once I go get the talisman from, I think dark beasts, I have to get my slayer up for that regardless, but there we go. Now I can go efficiently hunt the mole. And that is 50 moles defeated. Uh, it took, t it takes a little bit of time. You know, uh, cause the, the mole runs away. I've needed to bring no, I actually brought no food. I killed one mole before. That's why it's 49 and, uh, 100 on this. So that's kind of unique, but if you don't know, mole runs away and this arrow is exactly why I required the, uh, Falador diary because <laughs> I'm not doing this without it. That's why I was struggling so much to get the Shield of Arav done. Uh, weird thing about this, because I can double hit, the secondary hit, uh, as you saw right there, I walked towards him and he took damage. Um, well, that's because I had proc the other one. I also got both parts of a key, so we can take care of that very soon. But we're going to go to Falador. I think I have enough inventory spots. I think you only need three. 
Um, we're going to go talk to Weissen, and we're going to turn in the, uh, like to trade in mole parts. Um, there's, okay, yeah, the three. Um, there's only, uh, a need to do, there, there is a thing to turn in 100. I don't believe it's 100 at once. Uh, the, the task of, I should have it up right now, um, turn in 100 mole claws to Weissen. It doesn't say at once, so that shouldn't be an issue. But we're going to dump everything out of my inventory. couple, you know, items. I, I'm just going to like, I don't know if I'm going to high elk or just like sell them, but. I, do they give do they give them to me noted? Nope. <laughs> nope, they don't. All right. But I really, really wanted these seed nests. Like, that was... Actually, hold on. Extract? Ha-ha! <laughs> there you go. There's a tip for you. If you're going to do this, uh, just extract. 25 there and uh hold up where'd those go no these are herbs um with the nest oh those were empty nests okay all right that, that's fine that's fine uh so we need to open up uh these so we'll do 14 at a time and we'll see what we get all right we got uh we got some good stuff i managed to get a dragon fruit seed which i think there is something required for that one snape oh i reset this why is this 54 or 70 Did some of them give me nothing either way i did try to reset this uh maybe it's acting up if it is whoops um, but I got a spirit seed, you seed, uh, and I got several dwarf seeds. That's going to be really good for us. And I think, I think there was, yeah, the Calquat tree. I believe there's two areas I need to do that. And we actually managed to get a spirit seed, which I believe there's also one for go from one spirit seed to another, which I think is 91 farming, but that's not going to be a problem at all. Because of these mahogany seeds, which is grown. Um, I don't think I actually got a magic seed. Probably because I'm not a high enough level, maybe. I don't know if you can get seeds outside your level. And I'm not sure when magic seed is. But I do need magic seed so that I can uh, make or get the roots off of it to make the anti-venoms. Although anti-venoms won't be super important long term i would like some of them and the reason i say not super important long term is we are going to get uh the serp helm which will completely negate it and then you can see some of the crap i got 50 mole kills i got two so i was pretty under rate well i mean it's three is 45 so it's not pretty under rate in the two key pieces which i'm very excited i believe you just take key crystal shards and do I just do this? I need to go to the singing bowl. So at the singing bowl, it is, I don't like 15. Ooh, that wasn't bad. That is the crystal key enhanced crystal key, which we open the chest, which is located right here. Of course. So we'll open up the Elven and we get open up the Elven and we got a rune plate skirt, which is uh terrible. Oh, and before I forget again, I'm going to go uh, make my Onyx. Uh, I feel a little silly because I've had the ability to do this for a while, but we'll cut the dragon. We'll cut the Onyx and then we will make the... Uh, Dragonstone Amulet. And we will make the Onyx Amulet. And Ball of Wool. 
Ball of Wool. Craft the Dragonstone Amulet. Mm, 80 points. And is it 200 points or is it 80 points for the Onyx? Craft an Onyx Amulet. And is there one for Equip Them? Uh, no. There might be one for Equip a Fury, although I, I'm pretty sure there isn't. But I'm going to enhance them either way. All right, we will enchant the Dragonstone, which is not a task. And then we will enchant the Onyx, giving us the Fury, which is currently our best. And that's also not a task. All right, well, fair enough. And I know that there's an, like, well, why don't you just go kill demonic gorillas? Um... I'm going to, and this is going to be helpful for killing demonic gorillas. I don't care about getting another one. I can easily get the money again. I'll just need to AFK a little bit. Won't be a problem at all. But very happy to have that because now I have a new best in slot. More points. Uh, I wanted to get the 30 blue dehyde bodies made, so I went and killed 90 dragons. And I kid you not, uh, dragon 89 is the one that gave me the blue scaly, which I believe you just scrape, and that is a task, an easy task. But one, uh, these scales are good for us, and two, they're good for us. Also, uh, just saying... I probably said this before, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, this, this leather worker. Yeah. I shouldn't have to go through like dialogue here. Oh, I actually have to have it unnoted. Like maybe just use it on him or have a right click option. So I don't have to talk to him. Do that so much better. Now you can just right click and do all. I didn't actually know that at first. But it's, I don't want to talk to him. I just want him to, I want to write, I would just do your job. <laughs> just, just do your job. There's a couple unfinished bolts on the table right here. <laughs> I, I just, I'm in the bank and there's these Sarah swords. And then, uh, one million unfinished bolts. I wonder if that could be a, uh... <laughs> Uh, a money man. Uh, so the task that we have, or the task that we're going to do is full red, which we're going to make right now. And I don't need to make full red. I need to equip full red. And then I need to make uh, 30 bodies. Right? Right? Yeah, 30 bodies. And that is 30 D... I guess I made one before, but that is 30 bodies completed for more points. We're getting much closer. We're at 2710. Hopefully we can get it, you know, sooner rather than later, but let's go. Also been sitting on this for a little while. We crush the nest. We put the toad flax in. We put the... Nest in, bada bing, bada boom, Saradomen brew has been made. Equip a full black dehyde set. I forgot, I, I went and specifically got some black dehyde so I could make one. But that's full black dehyde. Check and grow a palm tree. What I'm doing right now is uh, I'm planting all my trees. Because, I mean, for one, it should give me, uh, hopefully it'll give, I don't care. I have enough seeds, because uh, I think dragon fruit is 91, or maybe that's magic. Uh, but it's a bunch of tasks. I wrote them down. I needed a fruit tree here. Oh, I actually do need the coconuts. Yeah, that's right. I really do need coconuts. That'll be very important. Uh, so I'm going to let this stay alive. Um, but that's the palm tree in Brimhaven. But yeah, I'm just going by uh, and planting the trees. Calquat tree. This is how a Chad rakes several feet away from it. And that is check a dragon fruit tree. Wonderful. It's also 
nothing. I thought that was an elite, but uh, it's check a dragon fruit tree. And I guess I might as well take my dragon fruits. That is clean 100 dwarves. Or, well, dwarf weeds. And that is make 20 ranging potions. And I believe... Um, where are they? Crystal? I think what you have to do is put one to one. No? I'll figure it out later. I lied. I'll figure it out now. Uh, you just mortar and pestle. And then I did a hundred. So it's ten times. And I believe it's... Would you like to... How many would you like to upgrade? Upgrade? Yeah. Okay. So now it's making divine ranging potions. And <laughs> look at the XP. It is miserable. The reason I'm doing this right now is I can take this out and use it, and I won't have to worry about accidentally uh, drinking ranging potions and, you know, losing them, which I think I actually have more ranging potions. Oh, not many. Um, hold on. Hold on. I'm curious. Can I cheat this? Uh range ranging is this create a hundred divine ranging potions not a hundred level three or fours I'm gonna go make a bunch of level ones or uh, uh one doses haha -ha! it does work hey let's go all right so if you're gonna do any of the so when i if when i get to the other divine uh one doses work and it works well because uh wines of zami were gonna be my biggest hold up so i'm really happy that that worked because i only had uh well let's actually see how many i actually had um i only had about 30 of them so, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy that worked out. <laughs> that's, that's great. I know there is, um, this one right here, but I didn't have a lot of potions. And now, uh, with 30, I have made them. Oh, you need to go over here. I have made them, and that is 200 more points. That is excelente. Very happy about that. Very very happy about that. We plant seed, we pick seed, we get point. And that is receive a torstol from the herbivore. I got the torstol pretty early, honestly. Like, I'm only on 24, and I was planning on going to 50 with it. I'm still gonna go to 50, but I was planning on going to 50 to actually get the Torstal, so that works out pretty well for me. And that's another 80 points. 50 Herbivores have been caught. Alright, I couldn't get it turned on in time, but I caught the very first Crystal Impling on the account, and it gave me 7 Power Amis. Alright. We got the Elven Signet. I have been doing this for like two hours, roughly. It, it hasn't been fun, but equip an Elven Signet is 200 points. And if you're wondering how to kind of hunt crystal implings, uh, I've changed the camera angle just for peace right here. Um, it is kind of annoying I actually don't have enough stardust okay we'll I'll have to go mining um it's kind of annoying because you basically run around continuously that's almost all the loot that I got right there I can show right here it was 17 implings so I got it under rate which I'm very happy about my current rate is 1 in 32 the best rate in the league is 1 in 25 so at the five times multiplier. So I'm very, very happy about that. Um, but you basically just run around the map continuously. What is that? Ring. 
Um, so you just run around the map and uh, hope you get a spawn. And once you do find one, hop worlds. Because it takes 30 minutes for it to respawn in the world. Only one can be in the world. This may be outdated information. Um, I saw nothing up to date because I looked up how to find them. And the wiki was like, just go catch them. I mean, it does say uh, respawning approximately every 30 minutes. So you literally just run around the world. Did you find it in one loop? Hop. Um, and I'm running, I'll show you the, like the route I'm taking. I'll actually show you here because I don't want to run it again is uh, approximately stop stop moving stop uh, approximately from here you go boop 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 did you see it yes or no so I'm going to go mine and get uh 1000 I believe it's a thousand I need to combine the two rings all right shooting star or I mined because I only had like 500 so we mined. Shooting star, celestial signet, crafted. Oh, there's not an equip one? Nope. All right, well, it's been equipped. And that is 200 more points. And that was the first te the, the one jad challenge. And that's dissect 50 sacred eels. We're getting super close. So I'm just going to jump around a random task because uh, 750 and then we get the new relic. And that is 150 herbivores, which is the final task for herbivore. Uh, it Honestly, it didn't take that long. Um, it's like a minute per run, so it probably took like two and a half hours. But we got that done. Getting really close to that 550. I'll have to look through. This episode won't end until I've unlocked the relic. And that is the hard diary done. All I had left was to catch the kebit. And that's equip a spottier cape. And that's find a jade in the pan. And that's base 70s. That's some cosmic runes. And that's 30 black dragons in Asgarnia. Also, just had a wholesome interaction with this guy. Uh, he was being cool this whole time. And because he was attacking one of them and I was attacking the other to get the 30 kills. And I said, thank you for being cool. They're all yours. He said, love you. Good luck. So champ, absolute unit. All right. And then this is a Karask which should be defeated any moment now. And that is 40 more points. Probably shouldn't have called that out so early, but that is defeated Karask in Tiruin. And I know exactly how I'm going to get the other 190 points. The final task is sacrifice the fire cape because with runescape girlfriend, I can just get fire cape again i've also never done this in the main game because i've only done the fight caves once and then the one time in the league i just i don't really want to do any other things and i'm going to be using the range cape um primarily because it'll basically i i'll never lose ammunition i think it puts it up to 96 or 97 percent chance to save ammunition so rather than the 90 it's currently at is that super worth it uh i don't know this is technically better but i also don't care so yes sacrifice the cape we'll get another one you've unlocked enough to get the final relic we can finally play the game blah 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 i don't care what you have to say i don't want to go in the inferno yet but we can finally play the game now for the relic I've said it like 50 times. I'm taking RuneScape Girlfriend because I genuinely believe this is going to be best for the content I want to do. Executioner is extremely, extremely strong uh, because you get the in 20%. They're gone, deleted. And usually enemies get buffed at 20, 25 ish percent. So you get to just ignore final mechanics. 
Undying Retribution is a get out of jail free card. You die, you come right back. And if they're close to you, you can insta kill them. Not necessarily insta kill, but I would deal a hundred and uh, ninety eight damage to them which is a lot of damage. So I could almost just insta-kill Gardor, Gardor or any of the God Wars bosses just by dying to them. In fact, unless I stood there and did nothing, uh, I don't think I could... I don't think I could not kill them. I think I would land enough hits, even no prayer. I think I would land two or three hits, which would bring them below that threshold. And then I'll also come back to life and could shoot them more. So that one's really cool and kind of fitting for my area, but... The Guardian is going to be really good at... Uh, I, I hope it'll take care of the Snakelings at Nex. Um, it sh it'll flip... Uh, demonic Gorillas are an insta thing. Like, I, I summon it, and then I can just watch it kill Demonic Gorillas. Um, I don't actually know how that's going to work, but... Because uh, it'll, it'll always use a combat style it's not using. So it's going to get weird for what combat I can use on Demonic Gorillas, but I don't care. And most importantly... I want to do a ton of the gauntlet. The guardian can be brought into the gauntlet and undying retribution would help me in the gauntlet, but it's, he has a thousand HP and it's going to do 200 damage to him. I don't really care. Executioner is going to do 200 damage to him. So I don't really, really don't care. Uh, executioner would be good on next, which is like my big end kahuna. Uh, but I don't really care about next because I'm never going to get a team and I'll have to fight next solo. If I take this, because as soon as they see me use executioner, they're all going to bail because they're never going to get the kill. So, uh, also, uh, guardian's going to help me on every other bit, like all, all killing monsters. Guardian will be extremely helpful. And I also need to be in a bank. Okay. At a bank now. And you can see the little next sling there. Uh, but we're taking Guardian because this just seems absolutely the most fun for what I'm looking to see. This relic also works inside the gauntlet. It also stays around for 30 minutes and you can just immediately resummon it. So we're going to absolutely choose the Guardian. I think it's going to be the most fun. That's the content I really want to do. So we get the Guardian horn. So I, I guess... Arguably, these two remove an inventory slot because I'm always going to have the Guardian on me. But whatever, I don't care. And then we have to change outfit. Or, hold on, I want RuneScape Girlfriend. Summon. You can't summon the Guardian in the bank, okay? How about here? There we go. Um, is that RuneScape Girlfriend? <laughs> you can just destroy it. I don't know which one's RuneScape Girlfriend. Stop moving. All right, whatever. I'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we have the Guardian. We have a minion with us at all times. That's going to be freaking huge. I love it. If it would just stay still. But yeah, so it's it's me and RuneScape Girlfriend.